Chapter 258, Long Time No See. The people standing with Gu Jinyuan were actually Yi Tian and Bai Han. Zhu Fengxin was really shocked to see them. Back in the Duke's estate, Yi Tian had mysteriously disappeared. No one knew where he had gone. She did not care much about him either, so she did not feel anything when he disappeared. She had not even asked. As for Bai Han, she had seen him some time ago and had even crippled a few of his subordinates. Why had these two people run to the tomb of the space-time emperor? Bai Han did not recognize Su Fengxin, nor had he seen Yi Jushan. So he did not know that the person standing in front of him was the mysterious ninth imperial uncle of the Heavenly Saints Empire. However, this person's aura was very strong. One could tell at a glance that he was anything but ordinary. Yi Tian had seen Yi Jushang before and knew that this person was not simple. He also knew that Yi Jushang had been pestering Zhu Fangxin recently. Hence, when he saw Yi Jushang, he was certain that the girl, who was as beautiful as a fairy and whom he felt extremely familiar with was Zhu Fangxin. Siner has become beautiful. She's so, so beautiful now. However, her relationship with Yi Jushang seemed to have improved and become even closer. Seeing the blissful smile on her face, Yi Tian panicked. Did this mean that he no longer had a chance? Initially, he had a chance. However, at the critical moment, he was actually trapped in this damned place. As a result, Yi Jushang took advantage of the situation and obtained little Ziner. He was really not willing to accept that. Yi Tian did not know that Zhu Fangxin wanted to hide her identity. As soon as he recognized her, he greeted her, Ziner, is that really you? Gu Jinyuan wanted to stop Yi Tian, but it was too late. He could only look at Zhu Fangxin helplessly. Zhu Fangxin had always known that she could not hide her identity for long, and she did not plan to do that either. The people from the four great families were all here, and many of them knew her. Under such circumstances, it was quite troublesome to hide her identity. She decided against it and admitted generously, Yes. It's me, Yi Tian. Why are you guys here? Another person walked over and asked in confusion, Fenshin, you know her? This person was none other than the Lion family's young master, Lion Fanking. Back at the Heavenly Treasure Trading Company, he had reprimanded Lion Bingmeng and then left with a hint of unwillingness and anger. However, Lion Fangking did not recognize Su Fangxin. He only knew that she was Fangiu. After that incident, he sent quite a few people to investigate Fangiu. Unfortunately, they came up with nothing. Later, he had to go to the Red Maple Forest and was trapped here, so the investigation was stopped. A long time had passed. If he had not suddenly seen her today, he would have really forgotten her. Su Fengxin chuckled and said, Young Master Lion, long time no see. How have you been? Moon Earth are you? Lion Fengking asked directly. My real name will never change. It's Su Fengxin. What did you say? Lion Fengking was shocked when he heard the name. His face was filled with disbelief. He had heard of the Zhu family's Zhu Fangxin. She was the granddaughter of Zhu Baishan, who had been expelled from the Zhu family back then. It was said that she was also the ninth imperial uncle's ninth imperial consort. However, wasn't Zhu Fangxin ugly? Furthermore, her cultivation level was very low. She was only in the early stages of the spirit awakening realm. How did she become so beautiful? and her cultivation level even reached the spirit building realm. How was this possible? Well Lilian Fanking was shocked and puzzled, Bai Han said in surprise, you're Zhu Fengxin. 